I'm Grant Benteen and I'm a UV research chemist in the UV Flexor group at Inks International at our R&D location here in West Chicago. Fundamentally, in a shrink system, the substrate shrinks, but the ink on top of it doesn't actually shrink along with the substrate. Instead, as the substrate's shrinking, there's less and less surface area for the same amount of ink to hold on to. Because of this, it's very difficult for the ink to maintain adhesion throughout the shrink process. We set out to create the contour ink system because we started to notice some of our customers pushing up against the boundaries of what the current ink systems could provide them. When they wanted to print really dense graphics and have them shrunk to a high degree on a label, they would often encounter failures where the ink would crack and flake off in high shrink areas. We are very confident that we can provide a much better solution and solve this problem for our customers. My name is Edward Westfall. I'm a UV ink chemist. I've been with the company for 13 years and I've been doing UV formulation for about 25 years. There were two primary challenges in creating this ink system. One was to achieve a high degree of shrink, which we had already done. The other was maintaining adhesion in highly contoured bottles with that high degree of shrink. So we had to meet two objectives simultaneously. One was high adhesion and the other was a high degree of shrink without deformation of the ink film. So on a bottle like this where you have both convex and contour or convex and concave surfaces, um, you have to be able to keep the film from cracking and falling off post shrink. Uh, and we had to do that in very complex graphics with a high degree of ink film thickness and with uh, multiple layers of color graphics. The industry problems that we were trying to address with these eggs are primarily related to post shrink adhesion laws and also adhesion to the wide variety of both high cost and low cost substrates that our customers want to use. Their costs are driven by their raw material costs, just like everybody else. And they want to have a broad variety of things that they can achieve with the complex graphics that they currently use uh, on both high and low cost substrates. This egg system allows you to do that and not lose any of your graphical design capabilities. So Inksflex contour inks have less cracking because they are much more flexible than a standard UV ink and because they have greater intercoat adhesion between the substrate and themselves, allowing for a higher film weight to achieve that degree of flexibility with very complex graphic designs. Printing the Inksflex contour inks with the Genesis primer can enable recycling because it allows recyclers to remove the ink from the substrate in the recycling process. This makes it so that the ink doesn't contaminate the final plastic and allows for the circular reuse of the material. So the benefits of using a dual care system is that it allows you a great deal of flexibility in the kinds of presses that you can run. You can run the standard medium pressure mercury, widely available, widely used in the print industry, or you can run with LED, which represents a lower footprint in terms of energy usage. So that lowers your energy costs and it lowers your requirements for pulling heat out of the system. Uh, and the, probably the most important thing is it reduces the amount of toxic materials that you put into the environment by eliminating mercury uh, from the use of curing. Inksflex contour inks are superior to just about anything out on the market today because of their very high degree of flexibility. They're extremely good adhesion to a wide variety of substrates and their ability to handle complex contour terrains when the shrink process takes place uh, without losing adhesion. 